Hey. What? Um, I have to tell you something. Okay. I walked to the office door and tried to open it. You see how I'm standing at the aforementioned office door? <laughs> that one? Yes, I see. Well, that's what I have to tell you about. Okay, I'm listening. Good. Phew. I'm glad you are. Now that is what I call Aren't a you supposed to tell me something? It's locked. What? Yep. Came over here, tried door, locked, lockety locked, locked. Couldn't believe. <laughs> Weird. Guess it must have locked behind us when we came in. Mm, no. <laughs> Christ, it would be impossible to find a key in this place. Without a metal detector, yes. Even then. All right. <laughs> Even then. I am hungry. Let's order lunch. What's this for? Mm hmm. Thought we got them all. Plug it in. I'm scared to. All that plugging you just did, and you're scared of this last little plug? <laughs> it's literally bigger than your body. You're a Mariah Scary. I'll do it. Fine. It's heavier than I thought. Jim Scary. That was my joke. No, you said Mariah. I said Jim. Same difference. No. Actually, actually, yes. They are not the same. They are different. So you're 50% correct. Okay, Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> I don't get it. Math. Matthew. And con. You're a con. A fake. You're being real false right now. <laughs> hey! Yeah, see? That doesn't work. Why not? Because his name is already Math something and con. Con is already in there too. And I am not false. I am the realist. <laughs> you would need to say something like, 50 percentage, or... <sighs> <laughs> See? Uh, it's fucking hard, isn't it? You know what's fucking hard? Watching you not plug in that last plug already! Why don't you do it then, Harriet Plugman? <laughs> You really went there. <laughs> you really went there. Brave. Bold move. Already. 
Any juice that is red, changing my nail polish colors every day, different brands of panty liners, collecting dryer sheets from laundromats, fat-free foods from foreign faraway fields and farms and factories that begin with F, so it's alliterative. Long division, vanilla wafers, calling my exes and hanging up, telling dirty jokes, Nobel Prize lit winners, seltzer water, Pantone color of the year, bullet journals, Christmas lights, 9-11 conspiracy theories, anything messy. Cookbooks from the 19th century, chick flicks, medium core porn, metal straws, kombucha, playing albums backwards, window decals, foot lotions, people named Janet. The last five minutes of every Tom Hanks film, reading Bazooka Joe comics, Jessica Rabbit, string theory, sentences in which prepositions end in. Soft breads, <laughs> clip-in hair extensions, and tweezers. That's it. <laughs> Chick flicks? Really? Coffee's ready. You can have a green card too. And a flag. God, I hate when girls cry. Ugh. I wish you had Botox like the lady in your monologue. Tell me what would cheer you up. Something um, familiar and something I can remember I, and something I'm good at. Hey, what if we did the video again, but what it's really like? We can see it by the amount of dirty dishes you have stacked in your kitchen. They're teetering, tottering. And you're on the couch, you lazy piece of shit. Teetering, tottering. Wait, when was the last time you took a shit? Crap. No, shit. No, I mean crap as in shit. Yes, when was the last time you took a shit? I can't remember. My memory is crap. So you do remember. What if all of your memories were crap memories? Like you could only remember the times when you were pooping. Even when I was a baby? Even when you were a baby. Especially when you were a baby, just a tiny pooping thing. I bet I would have a lot of happy memories then. I'd like that. I wouldn't have many. I was a very constipated child. Oh. <laughs> Hereditary. Oh. I wasn't abused or anything. Oh. That's good. Shit, that's great. Let's continue. They're teetering. Tottering. And you're on the couch, you lazy piece of shit. Teetering, tottering. Between pork rinds or oyster bellies. High fructose corn syrup or grain alcohol. Go to the toilet or shit my pants. Can you taste with your butt? What did you just say to me? <laughs> Can you taste with your, your butt, the hole? No. <laughs> no, you can't. And why is it whenever you eat spicy food and you poop it out later, it hurts your butt? The hole. Wait. Yeah. Why does it hurt your hold? Is it, how does your butt know it's spicy? Wait. Wait. Hold up a goddamn minute. Yeah, why does it burn your hole? Are there taste buds down there? Jesus Christ. What? Jesus Christ. You're right. I've been eating the wrong way this whole time. The other end. Yeah! We are taught everything in schools all wrong. Columbus and the South and war and eating. Somewhere deep down, I think I knew this. That's why I stopped. School? Eating. Oh, careful with that. Food is really tasty. <laughs> Hungry. Yeah, I only stopped eating for like an hour once. Let's keep going. We can see it by the amount of dirty dishes you have stacked in your kitchen. They're teetering, tottering. And you're on the couch, you lazy piece of shit. <laughs> teetering, tottering. Yes, we see you. And we want you to know. You, you could... You could... You could be doing all that teetering in... Sexy San Dallas! <laughs> San Dallas! <Tennessee Seattle. laughs> Beautiful <Mexico>. Albuquerque! <laughs> That doesn't work. Why not? We said two different ones. I thought that was the game. Because Albuquerque is a city in New Mexico. So there are rules now? Just stick with the program, sweets. <laughs> Let the Gusto travel agents book your getaway for you today. Except they don't know how to. Because the travel agents were never trained. So you keep on calling and calling. And calling and calling and calling. Until you've pooped in your pants, your dishes grow mold. Your chips go stale, your wine turns to vinegar, and your children die of neglect! <laughs> you, sh you sure? No abuse? <laughs> yeah, positive. <laughs> Thought we were just being dark. 